welcome back to my channel guys so as you can see we're just gonna get straight into it um, my face is already done these are the products that I use and just an FYI this cover effects um, contour kit it is amazing I will be doing a separate tutorial on how I highlight and contour my face using this new product so moving on to the eyes I am using the Lorac Pro palette and for my transition color I am taking the color taupe and I'm using my MAC 224 brush um, just to go ahead and blend this out a little bit. So now the next shade that I, I will be taking it is the color mauve and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in my crease. I go in back and forth um, picking up color just to get it to the um, intensity that I want. Now I'm just taking my big blending um, fluffy brush and I'm just using the color cream. I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to lighten up the transition up above because I just felt like it was a little bit too dark for me and I didn't want it so intense up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and lighten um, that area up there. So yeah, it's just a trick in case it, if your transition color um, is too dark for you and you just want to lighten it up, you just take a light color and then you just blend that in and it'll just lighten up that area that you would like. Now I do go back in and I um, take the color mauve and put some more in my crease just to get it to the intensity that I would like. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the color light pink and I'm just going to go ahead and put this over my lid. I do go back in and put some more just to brighten up that lid area. Now here I'm just taking my Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend those colors um, in together so that there's no harsh lines. Now moving on to my lower lash line, I'm taking the color mauve and I'm just take it, taking a fluffy brush, excuse me, and I'm just going to go ahead and place this color and blend it out in my lower lash line. So now I'm just taking my MAC 217 brush, I believe it is, and the shade white, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this color in my brow bone just to highlight and lift up that brow. Now using the same brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dip it into the color taupe. I'm going to put this in my lower lash line, and I'm just going to go ahead and diffuse those um, color mauve and the color taupe in together and just make it look very smooth. Now I'm just taking my the two um, shimmery shades, it's Nude and Champagne, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my inner corner. Now for my wing liner, I am using the Starlux Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. Jesus Christ, that is such a tongue twister. But anywho, this is um, a matte black uh, an eyeliner pen and this came in my Ipsy bag I believe it was last month and I've been using it every time I do my makeup to do my wing eyeliner this is what I use I love it it's very black and it's it comes and it's matte and it's it's gorgeous but um, I normally don't do my wing liner on camera because I can never get it but I did it for you this time so for mascara I am using my benefits roller lash I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my top lashes and normally I would put on some falsies, but I was just not in the mood to wear any falsies um, for this makeup look. I know it would have made the look so much better, but I just was not in the mood at all to put on any falsies. So yeah, this is just me and my natural lashes. <laughs> So for my waterline, I am using the um, NYX Wonder Pencil, and this is in the shade Medium. 
I love this pencil. It's very good. I am on the hunt for looking for a brighter one, so I do want to see if I can find a, a more lighter shade. But I just love it because it um, makes her eyes look a little bit bigger. So now for my blush, I am using the shade Gleeful from MAC, and this is a Real Techniques um, blush brush. And of course, I am using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop um, from Jaclyn Hill. I'm just going to go ahead and use this setting brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to go ahead and place this highlighter on the tops of my cheeks, on above my brows. I will be putting this also on the button of my nose and um, my cupid's bow. I also put this under my eyebrows um, just to highlight that brow bone even more and make it look more lifted. So I was clueless as to what lip color I wanted to do for this look. I was debating if I should do a nude, but I was like, mm, I want something different. So I remembered of a color that I did never used that I bought a year ago. So for the lip pencil that I am using, it is in the color Moth from Nick Cosmetics. Now for the lip color, look how gorgeous this is. This is from MAC and this is a limited edition color. I know, I'm sorry. And it is a satin finish and it is called Exclusive Event. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this was part of their holiday collection last year. Um, I think so. But yes, so I'm just gonna use this color. It is so out of the box for me. I've never worn a color like this before, but since this color is kind of in, Kind of like in style at the moment these types of shades uh, I was just like you know what whatever why not fall is coming anyways right and as always I am just finishing up my face with the uh, Scandinavia makeup finishing spray just to make sure that my makeup will last for the day just you know, take a bath in it why not so this is my completed look guys, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you later!